guys, in today's video I am doing my 31st week pregnancy update. Hello, hello, my name is Jana and as I just told you, I am 31 weeks pregnant. I'm a mom to two boys already and this is my third pregnancy and this is a girl which is very exciting and today I'm telling you what the baby looks like at 31 weeks as well as how I am feeling, what I'm experiencing with it and then I will show you my growing belly. So the baby at 31 weeks is the size of the coconut. She is around 3 pounds, 3 plus pounds and around 16 inches long. She's definitely getting longer stretches of of sleep which I definitely can track my app did tell me about it and I'm like oh yeah that's definitely true because I can feel when she's sleeping and when she's awake you can feel a lot of hiccups a lot of movement a lot of kicks and you can actually see how my belly moves now and it's kind of fascinating and it's it's very clear when there is awake moments for her rather than when she's asleep and at this moment of time she's developing all five senses pretty fast as she approaching to the delivery date and she is well moving a lot sucking her thumb and doing a lot of hiccups now moving on to me and how I am feeling so 31 weeks pregnant is seven month pregnant and I have like two more months to go which is nine more weeks which is very little even though we are getting things done when we are being prepared and everything is slowly getting done but I feel like not it's not getting done fast enough but I think it will be done at some point of time so that's okay now let's talk about how I am feeling I will be mostly complaining the the only good thing I can say that still I have pretty good energy and that I'm feeling decent most of the time I'm not in crazy amounts of pain um, I am in pain but not too like it's not overwhelming I am in a good mood most of the times and I have good energy so that's very important for me to how I feel throughout the day however there are plenty of things for me to complain about which one and the most important one I think that bothers me the most is that I'm so out of breath and I feel like I can never, that's not true, I can get enough air once in a while but a lot of the times I feel like I cannot get enough air and that's, that is a very normal symptom for this kind of situation, for this kind of time in the pregnancy because the baby is big enough and it's high enough that it's pushing all against my diaphragm and my lungs and it's very hard, especially at night. I have moments when I wake up and I feel like I was like not breathing and I have to sit up and catch my breath and it's not that it's scary but it's like oh my goodness I, I feel like I was not breathing so my app actually did tell me prop in most of the cases stand up as straight as possible so that you give your lungs as much space as possible and for the sleeping which I will start doing is prop yourself with pillows so that again your body is more stretched out and you have more air which that bothers me a lot I really don't like not being able to breathe and like the lightest push against me if my husband is trying to hug me or trying to even just lay a hand on top of me I'm like I cannot breathe it really is not a very pleasant symptom right now but it will go away when the baby starts dropping so a few more weeks or so so will suffer through the other thing that bothers me a lot is very strong heartburn almost after every meal doesn't there are a few meals that I think I don't get heartburn but for the most part very intense, very burning, very not fun and I guess again like you can't do anything about it so just just bear with it and I try to opt in for foods that are less acidic even though my diet is kind of, I like tomatoes also, I like spices, I like well things that are have the things that have acid in them so it's hard <laughs> Now talking about the pain, I do experience pain in a few parts of my body, which is the top of my belly, like the the bottom of my ribs a little bit. The majority of the pain though is around my hips and my joints, so my lower back, my hips and like the, the, like the legs at the top where they connect to my hips and I think that's the reason why is that my body is preparing for the birth and everything loosens up, opens up so that the baby can get out easier. So that is not very fun but again it's not an overwhelming pain so I bear with it and every step that I take I feel it but it's not horrible so that, that's okay. I also have some belly aches when I'm laying down and I think it's again just the stretching because baby is gaining weight so fast right now and still growing up for a few more pounds so I think it's the stretching of the muscles that hurt my belly which is not very pleasant but 
whatever. And again, my belly, I kept complaining about it for, well, every week. My belly does feel weird anytime I touch or anyone or anything touches the middle part of my belly where the belly button is, does not feel good at all. The sides don't feel too bad when you rub them, but don't touch the middle of my belly because I will yell at you. <laughs> I have also noticed that I did get a few breakouts on my skin and I'm pretty sure that it's the sugar that causes it. Anytime I have a cookie or a little bit more sweets, the next morning I wake up with a few red spots. They do go away pretty fast, but I'm pretty sure that sugar makes my skin break out, which is weird. That I don't think that's a normal thing for me to happen, but that's the way that is right now. Another not so fun thing for my kids is that there's very little space in my lap left and my younger son was recently complaining. I posted about on Instagram how he was like, don't touch me. And I'm like, well, sorry, buddy. I'm touching you because my belly was touching him and he felt like he needed to complain about it but yes there's very little space in my lap now so you will see in a moment how big the belly is it's not humongous but it's definitely big and then the last thing that is a little bit weird which i even had to look up is that i think i was more emotional than i used to be before throughout the pregnancy i had pretty stable moods all throughout the pregnancy and it's just this past week or like just a few days and I'm not sure if the week was harder and we had to make more decisions and maybe there was just more going on but I have actually cried a few times and it was very emotional and frustrated with things and I do not know again maybe it's just life related that it was just a weird season of life like a few days week or it might be the hormones that are affecting me which I read that progesterone makes you more emotional and that's why in the beginning of the pregnancy some women are like super emotional because their progesterone level is so high and I looked up and progesterone level through the pregnancy just goes up and up and up all the way until the delivery so apparently pregnant women in their third trimester do have a lot of progesterone in their system so I wonder if that's the symptom that I will keep having I hope not I hope it was just a week because it was not fun when there is like so much emotional instability was happening within me so I hope it was just a different week but that's the way I'm feeling. And that is all you guys for how I am feeling for what the baby's doing. Now let me show you my belly. Now here is the belly with a sweater. Nice and big. Here it is without the sweater. Same thing. <laughs> Not much has happened still. Nice and big belly. And here is a bare belly. So big. Yeah getting there but still yeah you can you tell that there's still so much more space for the baby to grow I feel like yeah I'm not I'm not running out of space just yet it's just big obviously but not overwhelmingly big all right you guys thank you so much for watching I hope it was fun for you to hear what's going on with the baby with me all of my complaints if you're pregnant leave me a comment below I would love to hear from you see how you are feeling and what your complaints are otherwise you guys I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video next video might be one of the decluttering organizing cleaning something along those lines because right now I am in the stage where I need to prepare my house so if if you're into that subscribe hit the notification bell make sure that you see when the, the video is posted and again maybe in another week or so there will be another pregnancy update and I hope to see my next video you guys have a wonderful day bye bye